<gülüyor> e, taknet. Chef Chris here. We just uh, today. I'm just gonna be doing some simple stuff. Um, I'm here at a can't disclose the location. But <laughs> I got a, I got a guy. I brought him down. The, my cameraman here. But anyway, we just gonna be doing something. Uh, check out. You got the little convection oven here. Nice setup they got here. We use this place sometimes. Got the grill. Got the eight ten burner here. Got an oven in it. Oven underneath. Everything you need in here. So for all you, like I said, I had a taste in the day, but these guys didn't show up, so I uh, figured I'd use use the area anyway. And uh, we go to the Superman chain. Everything you need. Pretty much, you can just come. Got uh, carts. Usually I'll probably pull up in the back or something. And, uh, we don't use it that much, but um, sometimes when I do a little freelance stuff, I'll come in here. Nice walk in. A lot of a lot of different companies use this place to. Uh, see these guys here. They make uh, specialize in just making ginger beer. Sounds good. You got other guys. These guys make their own little vinegars. Uh, just different little caterers and little little company. I think there's one lady and her, two ladies. They make some uh, stones and bagels. They get, they got them in major stores like Kroger, Trader Joe's, and stuff. So everybody here is pretty much uh, professional what they do. So all right, I'll see you in a second. I got some baby red potatoes here. I got uh, some little baby Yukons. Uh, got some spinach. I'm probably doing a little grilled veg. Got some little quinoa that I'm gonna use. You probably just do a little quick vegetable stack. Um, got some asparagus. More damn chicken! 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 Got chicken. We're gonna hold this motherfucker chicken. I got chicken there. Frozen chicken. I'm frozen. I'm frozen in all this motherfucker. Frozen chicken. Got chicken breast in the ground. Man. Anyway. Got some uh, asparagus with some glazed carrots. Just something simple. So, so how long have you been uh, cooking? Oh, man, I've been cooking for 100 years. See, I use that men's oil of Olay, huh? I'm like a vampire, baby. Don't age at all. You got some great specks in the hair, though, for sure. I've been cooking, man, for like 20. Professionally, like, uh, in about 30 years. Yeah. So who, who, who motivated you to cook? What was your greatest motivation? The greatest motivation would be, uh, uh, probably, probably my grandfather. What, what's, what's funny is I figured I could meet a, meet more women in, in a cooking class in FHA. So in between football and track and, and band, I, I would I would go to take FHA. I didn't want to learn how to sew, but I knew I could meet a lot of women and we could do some cooking in there. Uh, but uh, my grandfather, they say he used to he used to, he was an old chef. He used to cook on trains back in the day. I grew up with him in a large garden. He had a garden out there. We would just like pick tomatoes and cucumbers and cut them samples. So I guess that's kind of where it came from. But I started cooking when I was like uh, 14. My mom made me a fake birth certificate. Um, working at McDonald's on Finkel and Wyoming, you know. <laughs> Then went on to the Ponderosa and all that kind of stuff. So I know these guys, and I got some chicken cakes. Just get them going. I just steam them for, for quite a bit, and then I'm gonna throw them in the oven, toss them with some oil and some herbs. So how long do you have to uh, allow that to cook? You probably just, I mean, a steamer would be great. I'll probably just steam these for about like 10, 
say maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. Look, you want you want to steam this to soften them up and cut the cut the cooking time in the oven. I mean, a lot of chefs just like to go straight to the oven and roast them, but they'll take from a raw potato standard, they'll probably take them about 35 to 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I'll I'll just steam these for about 12 minutes, and then I'll probably pop them in there for about 15 with the smear going. And that'll be good. Right here, you got some. I just got some asparagus. I'm gonna do a colorful. This is gonna be the stack that the roast will cut. I'm gonna just roast these. I just like to cut. Nice technique, huh? <laughs> eliminates, eliminates a lot of waste. Just cut both ends off. Now, are you gonna do those uh, Julian style? Oh, no, no. Actually, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut little planks of them so I can roast them. I call these little planks. Probably three planks. Put these over here. Like I say, you can use a normal, good vinegar red. I'm just using some store-bought stuff here, which is just basically an Italian dressing. Sprinkle a few herbs on them, get some flavor going, a little love. All right. Well, no. The grill should be nice and warm. Put a little oil on it first. Put a little bit on there just to Seven drugs, football and, and track sports was my love, definitely. But I got caught up in that uh, confused did I want to be a thug or athlete phase in the, in the 80s, and um, that's how I was. But um, I, I got I actually caught, I got in a little trouble one time. Um, I was working in a McDonald's and I caught a little case, a quick a sock case. And I jumped on some customers, they, they were throwing stuff at me. But make a long story short, I was working at Ponderosa at the time and uh, I saw a Marine recruiter coming in dress blues. Oh man, nothing like seeing a recruiter in a dress, Marine Corps dress blues. And I said, hey man, if you could, you could get me out of here. It's funny how, how, how things change. When I came out of high school, I only had like small colleges that were recruiting me for, uh, for football and track. But they didn't, they didn't have any type of food service. So I was kind of, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I really wanted to go into the food service. But why after I got in, my second case I caught, I saw the Marine recruiter when I was uh, cooking at Ponderosa. I said, hey, his name was Sergeant Wayne. If you could get me out of here real quick, I'll, uh, yeah, I'm ready to join the Marine Corps. He said, hey, I can get you down to the MEP station and we can take an ASVAB test. It depends on how you score, how fast you can get out of here. So that's pretty much how that went. And coming out of high school, I was laughing at all the guys that had ROTC. I was the furthest thing from the military. Here I am. Hoorah, Semper Fi, years later, first Marine, you know, we, we were actually um, switching switching things around. Yeah, we were actually the first Marines that uh, entered Desert Storm, first retired, first Marines weapons company. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty wild, but that's a whole nother, you got to talk to Oprah Winfrey for that one, you know, or Spike Lee, baby. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we just simple, grilling some simple vegetables there. Then I'm going to probably pop them in the oven. Nice and colorful. I like to grill them, then I'll finish them in the oven. Let's get that. That's the oven. Yeah. Got the timer going there. Probably put the timer for about 
10 minutes on that. Turned up to 400. Got some Kim Watt right here. I'm gonna let that hang out for a minute. All the water's absorbed. I'll cover that up. So probably what you're gonna have is a plate. It's gonna be Kim Watt on the bottom and just assorted vegetables stacked up. So maybe a couple of uh, red potatoes on there. Throw a little sauteed onion and spinach in there. Now, in the meantime, got these, they're not baby carrots. They were small carrots that came in the pack, but I, they look pretty cool. I'm gonna use them. I don't have a filler. So Chef Chris, I must ask, man, how, being an urban chef, how do you feel about eating healthy? A lot of kids are not getting the, the uh, proper nutrients that they need. How do you feel about oh, that? I'm glad you asked that, boy. Healthy eating is major here, you know, here in Michigan. I mean, throughout the world, throughout the nation. Yeah. <laughs>